And I'm trying to get them respect to like them white boys get. How you doing? I'm sure you good. Let me let people see my face on your show. You know, I'm in the car. You know, I don't just sit around on my ass. I'm going to a boat, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I got this shirt on. I curse, bitch, but I help cheering. So, you know, I got the little Yeti bag in the back. We're going to load this up with the whatnots and the whatchamacallits. You know, I got I keep little cool Yeti bags and stuff like that. So, you know, I you know I know you wanted to see me on your panel. So go ahead, brother. Go ahead and tell me your grievance, sir. I see you smiling like a new goddamn schoolgirl because you saw me. <laughs> you smiling like a little school you saw me. I don't know what's up with you, but uh, tell me your grievance. My grievance is, um, okay. besides the lion, I've never, I, your title, went too far on John Morant. Cap. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you go. I'm not going to interrupt. I'm going on mute. You tell me when to take it off mute. So, this is how it started. He texts me this morning. I think I went viral again. My bad. Mr. I'll, know, I'll never go viral again. That's how this started. And I wrote. Oh, Gil, it started last night, bro. You was dissing no. me and my cousin. Come on, bro. Don't, why you always got to redact what you no, said? I'm just, no, I'm just saying for t this topic right here. Okay, so you ain't gonna you ain't gonna mention the last five texts you texted me last night that I didn't respond to. No, I'm talking about to, 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 for right now. This okay, we'll, we'll just skip past your five texts, man. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, so we, we, yeah, yeah. Well, just for now. And then I wrote for attacking a black man who did nothing to you. Congratulations, you should celebrate. Right, and that's not viral. Everyone's posting it going viral. And then he said attacking. Wow, you love using that. They language, if I was his uncle, I would damn sure attack him. I would beat $231 million out some sense. I said, call him all kinds hey, of- Hey, put some lace in your voice while you read that shit. Let me read it how I said it. I said, if I was his goddamn uncle, I would have beat his motherfucking ass and whipped $231 million out of his ass. Because he need to learn that now that you change the trajectory of your family, you are not no regular everyday street cat that's pulling up on malls, on people, and acting like a jackass. But I'm apologize. I forgot. I told you to tell me when it's off me. I apologize. I'm sorry. I wrote, you called him all kinds of stupid motherfuckers. I said, if I did that, or Stephen A sounded like that, you would have a you would have ranted for seven days about tearing a black man down. I said, your take is right. You're right. But you're the same person that will cuss another person out for doing 10% of what you did. He said, he is a very stupid fuck. So what the fuck are you talking about? You sound stupid as fuck. I said, again, what you said was correct. How you said it is a Kwame Brown style. But if one of the people you don't like sounded like you, what would your takes be? And that's how this started. So I wasn't saying that he was, um, I went, he went too far with Ja. I'm saying if Stephen A. Smith or me or Stack Five, anyone did what he did, would, would Kwame be okay with it? Or would he go on this rant talking about how black men tear other black men down? That's what this was about. So go. Okay. Well, all I'm saying is, is that I don't think it's anywhere remotely close to what I said about John Morant and what you guys do to black males. What you guys do to black males is you take innocent men that are not even playing basketball and you mention them men in a jovial, joking way and you disrespect these men I wasn't playing basketball when he mentioned me. Isaiah Thomas is not playing basketball right now in the way they disrespect him. It's the it's the manner in which you guys do it. And what I did to John Morant was called a correction. When I have to correct my son sometimes, sometimes you might want to leave the room because it's going to get ugly. Because when you correct a young man that thinks that their thoughts and ideals are right and they had nobody to come against their thoughts and ideals, then you have to use force sometimes. 
and sometimes it's not pretty. So John Moran is not a family member of mine, but I talk to him like family. That was love in my voice. He really is being a dumbass. He really is NBA dumb boy. And our culture is, and it's so bad that I came to the internet saying I watch behavior because I've watched guys like you. I've watched so many talented men get away with certain behaviors just because they're talented. You have come online and expressed that you've gone to jail every weekend. And the only reason why it wasn't brought out is because you were so talented. And we have to stop letting men like yourself and talented men just being able to behave like jackasses because they're talented. So Ja Morant got a uncle's type of talk, a father's type of conversation. It's time out for the kumbaya and saying, oh, well, he's a black man. He's a black man that is making all of us look like jackasses, buffoons and thugs. And you played a part in that as well. And that's why I said I watch behavior. It's not about shooting a damn ball and putting it in the fucking rim. It's about our image. No other race of men, they allow to speak like we speak to each other. Now, what say you? So, so, so again, do you think you're going viral because you gave him amazing advice as a young man going through the situation, knowing that you played in the NBA and watch other players fuck up their careers, or are you going viral for, let me use the words you use, for doing uh, white zaddy's job, attacking a black man, calling him stupid, calling him dumb, calling him ignorant, um, saying he should have got his ass whooped, doing all these berating because you know the white media can't do this. So are you the token black man that, that, that went out on your platform and down talk this brother that will hurt his contract. Um, Cause that would be your words. If somebody, if somebody else, if somebody else did that, like I didn't have nothing to do with this, but you mentioned me, right? No one's ever seen me with a gun. I've never showed no gun on no platform, no, and you're wrong. You put a picture up and said pistol to his throat right after you said a pistol to my throat. So stop it. There's a gun. Where's the gun? You did a cartoon emoji with a pistol to my throat. A cartoon emoji is the same as a real gun? No, I'm saying for a guy with the criminal history in the past that you have surrounding guns, I think you should never mention a gun again. I'm not mentioning a gun to you. I think, isn't there a video of you holding a gun talking about kill a nigga and my internet would be better if I kill a nigga and talk about killing niggas and you just ain't buffering. Isn't that, aren't you the same person that did that? Wore a ski mask and all that, had a whole shotgun and shit? Yeah, I did a comedy parody that was saying that how the people who pay guys like you, they will monetize and pay for me to act like you, act like a buffoon and talk about pistols. Yeah, so that was a parody. Uh, and so to your point with John Moran, you know, this is the second time he's done this, right? And then I've had several takes on John Moran. You guys that have never talked positive about me, you guys don't really talk positive about anybody. So I talk positive about John Moran because he wasn't doing dumb shit. And even when he did the dumb shit the first time, I gave him grace. I said, he's a young man. He can learn from this. But when you go back and do, if my son would have got in trouble and he came and told me, hey, dad, I apologize. I learned my lesson. I wouldn't do this again. And then turn out a month later, I catch him doing the same shit. I'm not going to tell him to go to the corner that next time. If the first time the punishment was go to the corner, the next time the punishment is going to be me putting my foot in his ass. And so that's what I did with John Morant. He needs somebody to put their foot in his ass. His behavior is that of an immature child. And if you're so concerned with your safety, why is it that a $231 million man, why is he not riding around with security? Why does he have this fucked up uh, mentality like you and Jack where he think he need to enlist street niggas and hitters? Uh, everything that I said from day one coming to this internet is materializing and coming out true. John Morant is a $231 million NBA athlete and that's not good enough for him. 
he wants to be a street nigga because our culture, the only thing they respect is street niggas and killers. That's why I say I'm a sidewalk nigga. I'm going to get out of your fucked up ass mentality and your fucked up culture because I'm not about that. I'm about living life and being a man. Just like right now, I'm about to go get on the boat and live my life. Black males don't never get a chance to live their life. John Morant is it's not all the way his fault because, well, fuck that. It is his fault. He should know better. But the bigger problem is that the people who monetize this music that got this boy in a trance, if you notice, he only pulled guns out when he's listening to this demonic bullshit music. Then somehow a gun comes out. So the white folks that are monetizing this culture, this deaf culture, and this music, and this drill shit, why are they so mad that John Morant fell in love with it? Can you tell me that? Why are they mad that they're, they're perpetuating us for death and violence? Certain black men do it. No, I listen, I get all, I get everything you're saying. I agree with what you're saying. But you are the same person that if this was someone else doing this to John Morant, you would have an uproar about it. You will have an uproar and say, you guys, would, would you have done this to J.J. Reddick? See, I can pull the same shit you do on everybody else. You would have never said this to J.J. Reddick. You technically are the token black man that went on your platform and tore down another young black man for a mistake. That is you. You don't want to take responsibility for doing the same thing that you talk about everybody else for doing. If Stephen A. Smith said this shit, called him a buffoon, called him a NBA dumb boy, called him a jackass, stupid motherfucker. If Stephen A. Smith did that on his platform, you would have an uproar of, of, about this. That's the problem. The problem is the contradiction I have with you. It's not about what you're saying. Stick to one side. If, if Jack, this is how stupid you look. If I went on my platform and said, John Morant, you a dumbass motherfucker for pulling out a gun. What kind of stupid motherfucker wants to have a gun all up in the video? You are dumb. You this and this. Everybody will look at me and say, aren't you the same motherfucker that had a gun in the locker room? You are a stupid idiot for talking down on John Morant and you did the same stupid shit. That's what I'm doing to you. You're, you're down talking a black man in front of white zaddy. For in front of white zaddy, in front of the world, so everyone's posting what you're saying, how you're saying it to this black young fella. See, now I'm doing what you do. I'm taking, I'm taking the Kwame Brown apo- approach. You are a token black man tearing down a young black man, fucking up his bag, fucking up his money for a mistake he made. He didn't hurt nobody. He's doing it to himself. So why do you need to go out there and say all this in front of the white man so the white man can tear him apart and make him, what, half a nigga? He's half a nigga. He's a discount nigga now. Kwame Brown is pushing that narrative. Discount nigga. So now... White Zaddy knows, hey, Kwame Brown said it. He's going to be a discount nigga. So we're going to discount this black man. That's you. But I agree with what you're saying. But I, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound right coming from you, knowing that if anybody else sounded like this, you would have a fucking meltdown about how they're fucking up the black athlete's money, and they would never do this to a white player. Would you do this to JJ Reddick? No. Nah. That that was that was my only thing. Has nothing to do with what you're saying. I believe what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But you are the one that attacks everybody for for having their takes on on other black athletes. And you when you think they're messing up their bag. Now, and like I told you, I said, "Hey, what do you think about Stephen A Smith saying, hey, um I think he should be suspended for the whole season. What do you think about that? Unjust takes on black males. This is not an unjust take. I think you got it misconstrued because you think because people talked about me for 20 years and that you may think that 
I'm some soft cookie that no black man can be talked about. I don't give a fuck what color he was. If he was black, white, I'm the man who talked about white men too. I'm the one who talked about Dana White. You have yet to go on your platform and cancel Dana White and say he slapped a woman. You only talk about black males. You get up online and bash me as a black man every day. You got online and say, I have no business. I have no future. Ladies, I don't understand why y'all want to talk to this stank, dirty nigga. So you are the last guy that should be talking about somebody being hypocritical. Did you forget that I was black? Because you said I was on cocaine. You never one time see me do cocaine. You haven't been around me in 18 years. But now you're the guy that want to sit up here and tell me what I would be offended by. I would get up on a show with Stephen A. Smith and say, Stephen A., go ahead and get loud because this boy is a jackass. I would 100% back that message. This is the time that Stephen A. should get brolic and go the fuck off. What These are the rules, bro. You have to learn how to behave to make that type of money. That's why I talk about behavior. Get the chance in the privilege seat that all of us in without learning how to behave. And you somehow have a jaded opinion by that because I get it. You were able to go to jail every weekend. You were able to get away with a lot of things. So your behavior is a little bit fucked up, even now as an adult, because you never understood consequences. But everybody is not as talented as Gilbert Arenas. Everybody's not going to be as talented as Gilbert Arenas. You have to stop with this, oh, woe is me bullshit. John Morant is destroying what black men image are supposed to be. And this is why they're going to take the game international. Luca is just as good as John Morant, but he does not come with the bullshit. Our African brother, M.A. Udoka, not M.A. Udoka, but um, the one that you always hate, Giannis. Giannis is way better than John Morant. He does not come with the bullshit. And what the league is starting to find out is that we can take this game internationally, get just as many good players, and get a whole market of people who support their people and not hate on them, and we don't have to do, deal with these niggas. John Morant is going to be the direct reason. Gilbert Arenas, Stack 5, all of you guys that do stupid shit and with this gang culture and checking in, Every time you get upset, you are threat you are threatened to another man with your whole little posse. How come all you black men get mad when uh, uh what is it uh, for the Lakers? The coach for the Lakers. What's his name? Uh no, not like Darvin Hand. Oh, Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson said that LeBron James got a posse. Well, how can you get mad at Phil Jackson for saying that when all you niggas, all y'all talk about is posses? Soon as you get mad at somebody, we, we, we coming to fuck you up. Me and my niggas, we tough, us, we. This is how you guys sound. But you want to get mad when somebody else from another culture hear it and see how you behaving and then call that shit out. You want to call it racism. And when I call it out, you want to call it coon or talking down. I'm not talking down. That nigga is a bullshit nigga. You got $231 million and you flashing guns. That's a bullshit nigga. I was shot at but before the age of 16 years old. Ain't nothing fun about that, homeboy. Ain't nothing fun about the hood. If that nigga want to get the hood experience, then let that nigga go live in the hood, get his dough kicked in, let some niggas come by and shoot up his goddamn house, let some police kick in his goddamn dough, put his mama on the ground, stick an AK-47 in her back, let him live the hood experience. Because it ain't all good and dancing talking about a parade in your city. That's what we got to stop doing. Yeah. Hood and fun, gang and fun and pretty. Until niggas ass get shot off. Ain't nothing fun and pretty about gang banging. That's why when I left the hood, you don't hear me talking about no hood shit. And I'm way more well versed and experienced about hood shit than you niggas playing and buying friends. I really lived this shit. I grew up in a trap. That's why I ain't never go visit no motherfucking trap house. I grew up in a motherfucking trap. Ain't nothing fun about that shit, homeboy. And you rich ass niggas got to stop perpetuating dumb shit that you niggas ain't ready for. Listen, 
all of that sounds amazing, not going to lie. But at the end of the day, I'm not the one who came on the platform saying black men are attacking black men. That wasn't my speech. So you can't hold me to your standards. So me attacking you is me attacking you. I've never said I don't attack black men and this is wrong. That's your speech. So you're, you're, admitting, that, so you're admitting that you attack black men? I attack you, yes. Why are you attacking me? Because I didn't attack John Moran. You I gave him good advice. You would, oh, good advice? Yes. Oh, I good gave him very good advice the first time. He didn't listen. And then, because this happened two times, sir, you could play the video where I told him, get away from his dumb ass friends. Had he listened, uh, no higher security guard would have been recording him pulling out a goddamn gun out of his pocket because the security guard would have had the gun. So had he listened to the first advice, we would not be here, sir. What you're trying to do is try to make me out to be this goody two-shoe. And then if I say anything about somebody black, then somehow I'm going against my code. No, you yeah. niggas try to belittle and embarrass and shame men. What I did was give that nigga some brotherly love. You are a dumb nigga. And then I don't have to be an ex-NBA player or come on some platform playing like I want to be whatever. He's a dumb nigga. Point blank, period. And if how can you agree and disagree at the same time? If you saying you agree with me, then you agree with me. You may not have to agree with the tone of voice. You may not have to agree with the curse words. But I honestly think with every fiber in my being, he's a dumb nigga. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. He's a dumb nigga. Great. When you came to the internet, when the reason you hate all black men that I don't hate you. anyone. I don't hate you anyone, bro. You do. I never interrupted okay, you. Go ahead. I just, but you keep putting words in my mouth. You said you, put, you said you put words in my mouth. I didn't say nothing, brother. You said I hate people. You said I wouldn't like it if somebody do this. You never asked me. You never asked me, Kwame. Would you appreciate Stephen A. saying that? I would have said yes. You 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 did a whole soliloquy of putting words in my mouth. I would not get mad. Shannon Sharp went off on. Uh, went off on John Moran. I agree with everything Shannon Sharp said. And I, me and Shannon Sharp, I disagree with him on several takes. But on this take and the way he said it now, after what Ja did, I didn't jump the gun and go immediately full throttle on Ja. That's what you and your media pundits do. Every time a black man make a mistake, y'all just go full throttle. I didn't do that. Now with this new information, with what he just did, after saying that you're going to rehab and all this other shit and you running around here doing that, no, you a dumb nigga. And I don't care who get mad about it. You don't agree that he's a dumb nigga? You think a $231 million man is supposed to be riding around flashing guns? Do you agree that he's a dumb nigga or no? You think he's smart? Like I said before, I agree with you. So you're saying he's a dumb nigga, right? Yes. So what's the problem? You contradicting yourself. Okay. How did I contradict that's myself? Always been that's the problem. I keep saying it. It's you contradicting yourself. If you okay. didn't make your post and someone else did it first, and they use the same language you did towards a black athlete, you would be on here going crazy on how they are devaluing that young brother. And I'm using the words you use, that young brother, and all this shit. You, you're saying I attack that's black people. Gilbert, because you black, black, and I don't. But that's not true, brother. You black, and Stephen Jackson black, and I've been going off on you, motherfucker, for two years. I've been calling you dumb and stupid this whole time. So how am I contradicting myself? I said Jack is a dumb son of a bitch that hide in groups and want to have friends and got ran over by a car. I've been honest about what I said this whole time. I said, uh, Matt Barnes is a sensitive, angry bitch who jumped over gates and was chasing behind a woman. Could have got herself killed in a domestic violence situation. I didn't lie about nothing. You saying I'm hypocritical, but I can play videos of me talking about your type of black man. I don't give a fuck about a black man that act like John Moran. You fake, tough ass gangster motherfuckers are the problem in our community. You niggas that always want to tell people don't snitch and all this other shit. Civilians ain't snitches, motherfucker. 
Everybody in the world don't have to be no motherfucking thug. You are an NBA player that wants to be a thug. You type of NBA players, I can't stand there. One of you motherfuckers. Can I ask you a question? Hold on, you take your money, and then I'll answer your question. Niggas like you, Jack, Matt, and John Morant, y'all take y'all money and you use it for bad. You use it to empower killers. You niggas go to the hood with less fortunate men and you play Russian roulette with their life. It's only five years. It's only 10 years. It's only 20 years. Go ahead and lay down and don't snitch. Do that. Keep it real. That's what you niggas do with your money. And I don't respect niggas like you that do that. If nigga, you so brolic, you so bad. If you got it like that and you a street nigga, put in your own work. Don't be enlisting these young niggas to become killers because you niggas scary. That's what's wrong with you niggas. So let me say it in my own words. Fuck every last one of you NBA playing niggas niggas from unity as killers i don't look at you as no black man i look at you as the right arm of them white boys because you kill more niggas than white people do now what say you i'm about to google how many um nba players and athletes have killed people should I do that? It ain't the NBA players kill oh. people. They empower people to kill people. It's a lot of you dumb motherfucking athletes that are crips, that are bloods, and you stupid motherfuckers empower your friends. A lot of you motherfuckers, GDs, crips, bloods, and you nigga. Do you know how many people from my hood that I could have empowered to kill people? Come on, man. I was the first of my kind. Stop playing with me like I don't know what I'm talking about, nigga. I'm glad you brought your dumb ass up here thinking you was going to spray him down the that, that's, that, that's the problem. You, you, you made a take on a man, and it became a personal insult to him. Who? John Morant. He's a dumb motherfucker. He should be out buying buildings. John Morant controls the money. This is exactly what I was talking about. The man just got kicked out of the playoffs. He can't find nothing else better to do but to go party, drink, and show a goddamn gun. Why is he not out there going to buy two or three subdivisions so these women don't got to complain about their living conditions? He can literally buy three, four subdivisions in Memphis and South Carolina, compete with Grant Cardone, improve his community while being a dumb jackass that want to show guns. How many subdivisions does John Morant own? None, probably, because he got too much time to play tough on the motherfucking internet. Just like you and your motherfucking homeboy. All you niggas care about is being tough guys. Y'all niggas don't buy no property. How come all you goddamn NBA playing niggas, including myself when I was dumb and stupid like y'all, and now I'm smart? How come none of you niggas own just as much real estate as motherfucking Bill Gates? He owned damn near all of Mississippi. You bragging about being a $171 million man. Do you have 171 doors, nigga? Do you have 171 doors, meaning of a subdivision? You got a white man working in your house in the background, but how many doors do you own, nigga? You don't own shit. You morally bankrupt, you mentally bankrupt, and you spiritually bankrupt, nigga, because them white folks done gave you money, and all you do is use it to hurt and harm niggas. Now you go. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what what others do to themselves became um, personal for you to be personal. Um, someone wrote it in here, Kwame is the new Stephen A. I agree. <laughs> I, I agree with that. You are the new Stephen A. Smith, but you hate the Stephen A. Smith for doing what Stephen A. Smith does. So, so one take one take against John Morant after three takes, I got three, four videos saying John Morant is great. John Morant is a bust, but I use it as clickbait to say John Morant is great and they need to stop showing him so much attention to LeBron and start showing some of these other superstars. So because I said one take that shows that this man deserved this shit because he's the one out pulling out guns and being a jackass, one take that go against what you're talking about, and now I'm the new Stephen A. Okay, that's what's up. It's 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 not the take. Everyone agrees with your take, Kwame Brown. Everyone agrees. Everyone's saying the same shit you're saying. No one's going personal, but for some reason, Kwame Brown has to call someone that has never done nothing to him a stupid motherfucker. A that's son just, of that's not personal, brother. That's just my opinion. 
I like I can say somebody a stupid motherfucker without thinking twice about it. That's just the way I talk. I think he's a stupid motherfucker. It's not personal at all. I'm going. I'm headed to a boat right now, living my motherfucking life. There's no personal involved in that. My personal opinion, my opinion, is he's a stupid motherfucker. I got it's it. It's not personal. He's okay. proven that through his action. And I think anybody with eyes can see that he's a stupid motherfucker. Because if that type of money and you got that type of situation going, people kill to get out of people kill for the money that he has. Like, when is enough enough? What else does John Morant want in life? If he has two hundred and thirty one million dollars, he's the man of a team. He has big, pretty cars and houses. What else does he want? No one's disagreeing with what you're saying. No, I'm, I'm asking you a question. You always want to throw the questions back at me, but never want to answer mine. What else does this man need to feel satisfied and satisfied in life? If I'm so wrong about you NBA playing niggas that never been in a real situation in the hood, or if you had, you're bringing that shit to the NBA, which is stupid. What else does he want in life if he has $235 million control of a team and everything that a young man could dream of? What else does he want? Does he want to die? That's something you have to ask him. Well, aren't I'm you asking you, does he want to die? Because he's throwing answer. up guns and all this other shit. Does he want to die? Because that's what's going to happen. You, you are an NBA player bashing other NBA players for doing the same shit you did. You calling it bashing. I, I praised this brother three, four videos. And now because he showed a gun on the heels of the situation that he in, I think he's dumb. His actions prove that. That's not me bashing nobody. So I'll you, call my son dumb if he make the same mistake over and over goddamn again. Did you did you DM did you D him that or did you go on your platform to berate him in words that a white man can't say? What? what? Why can't a white man call him dumb? Skip Bayless can get up there and call him did dumb he, right now. Did he? Did he call him dumb? Did he call oh, him? Yeah, he dumb? probably done called him dumb. I'll go back and look at a video. He's I'll go back and find it. He's not gonna call him a stupid motherfucker, you dumbass bitch. No, you well, dumbass. Boy, no, no one's well, using those words. Well, well Steve, Skip Bayless works for a corporation, so he can't call him a stupid motherfucker like I can. But, but, they're, but they're I, playing, I think he's a stupid playing. motherfucker. That don't got nothing to do with Skip Bayless. I think he's a stupid motherfucker. But they're all posting your version of it to get that same message out. See, they can't do This is Kwame Brown's stuff. They can't do it on their platform because all hell's going to break loose if a white man called a black man, a stupid son, bitch, you stupid motherfucker, ignorant ass. Yeah, they were getting killed for that. So I didn't the, say he was an ignorant ass bitch. Oh, I said he's yeah. a dumb motherfucker. So the token black man did it for him. White zaddy. You did white zaddy's job. So you, you're calling me the token black man? Today? Yeah, token white man. So what you're trying to do is conflate the situation. You're trying to use some of my talking points and, and try to say I'm a hypocrite and making it seem like I can't speak against behavior. If you notice, what will rile me up is bad behavior, brother. That I'm the guy who caught up to. Okay, but you're calling me a hypocrite when I came to the internet speaking on behavior. So oh. I don't care. I don't see color in behavior, brother. I said I watch behavior. Okay, you're it's, trying to make me out to be the guy that protect black men. I don't protect no nigga. I watch. I'm name. on video, brother, saying that I watch behavior. Have you not seen it? We we, we now we understand that you don't protect the black athlete's name. You do exactly what you came. Why would I have to protect anybody's name? I, all I said was, you guys can talk about sports in a more analytical, intelligent way. All you guys do now, when you speak about sports, you niggas act like gossip girls, and you just diss these guys. When I talk about sports, I don't have to act like a gossip girl or diss nobody to get my point across. And in this situation, this is one isolated situation. Not every black NBA player is going to be pulling out of guns. There's only one or two of you guys, you and him. What? When did I pull out a gun? Well, you put it in the locker room and got a yeah. felony for it. Did I? I think yeah, there's that's a, what they alleged that you did. did, did, did you, are I you a, are, are you a convicted felon, Gilbert Arenas? Yes, sir. So, how did you become what? What made you 
fall from grace and go from an NBA all-star to a convicted felon? Um, just like the uh, text message said, um, I did something to have my teammate react, and I felt bad for it, so I told him I will take, I will take responsibility. So you saw your teammate react to you bringing guns or no, somebody no. bringing guns to the locker room, correct? No, who I never. The guns to the, who per, who bought the guns to the locker room? Without the I, word salad and the semantics, I, I know you. I who said I the guns did. to the locker room. Can you stand I, on it like a man? I said I did. No, I'm not asking about it. I said this situation is over I with. Said, he done played his bit. I did. I said I bring the guns to the locker room. I'll take responsibility. Okay, but listen how your Listen hence, how you're wor- hence but listen why, how you're wording it, brother. Hold on. Hold on hence you said why, I said I that's what I said. I said I these are my guns. No one seen me touch a gun. No one seen me bring a gun, bring a gun to the locker room. I never got suspended for guns in the locker room. Sir, I didn't get suspended for no gun. I took the blame for the guns in the locker room. So my teammate wouldn't get in trouble. There's a difference. Let's get in the locker room with you being the leader of the team, sir. Say it again. You were the leader of the team at this time. You El Capitan. You the man yeah. with the money. Mm-hmm. Everything goes up under your direction. Yes. How did guns get in the locker room under your leadership, sir? Can't tell you how they got in there, but I know when they were there, I said they were mine. Isn't that what the leader does? See, all, all of your all of your stories make you look so good and sound like a street cat. What the truth of the matter is, you're the guy who brought the guns to the locker room and told him to pick one, correct? That's cap. I didn't who said so I there, there was, there's no truth to the story of you brought the guns to the locker room and told him to pick one. To me, bringing no gun in the locker room. Because you're on correct. video telling this story in very different ways. And one of the ways that, and you can't sue me for this, because one of the ways that you told the story when you were upset is you, he was talking shit, and you told that nigga, you said, he said he was going to shoot you, and you mm-hmm. went and brought some guns to the locker room, you told that nigga to pick one. I never said I brought anything to the locker room. You said, that- you, wanted to see, you, said you wanted to see if he, wanted, if he was going to really do it, mm-hmm. and so you told him to pick one, brother. Yes. Told him to pick one. You keep saying, I bring the guns to the locker room. See, there's a difference there. So, okay, you want to play words, semantics, and all this other shit. How did the guns, how did guns get in the locker room under your leadership, sir? They got there. But me, Gilbert Arenas, did not touch a gun, was never near a gun, don't not, no fingerprint. Why you think I didn't get suspended? No fingerprint on any gun because I never touched a weapon. Okay, brother, I understand that. That means maybe someone else brung the gun to the locker room. Maybe someone else brung them to the locker room. And I said they were Under your direction, correct? Because nobody can come in that locker room with Gil being the man. El Capitan Gil, you a black man making over $100 million. And somehow, do you not notice that there's never been a gun in the locker room in Dallas? Under Luca's leadership, there's no we're guns not, in the locker room. We're not asking Why is there to, guns in the locker room? It's not, two black men that they give the leadership to. We're not asking about leadership. We're asking about, did I bring a gun to the locker room? I told you no. No, no, no. But let, let, me, let me just land my plane for a second because I want you to understand how white folks think. You're changing what it was. I'm, no, I'm, not, I I'm, I'm, never just, I'm just trying baby. to make a point. I'm just You're trying to make a point. point that it has nothing to do with the point. Okay. Never. The, the the answer is I never touched a gun. Here you can okay. you can, here 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 you can put you can share that to the screen. Share what? Uh, what I'm sharing. It, no, no, I don't want you to get so lost in the sauce about. No, 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 uh, no share. You can understand the difference between what you're saying and what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I, I'm saying what you said you on want video. To, so you what don't want to share it right here. Well, I can share it. What okay. you said right here could be totally different than what you said on video, bro. This is, two, this is 2009. And you, know says, I'm gonna, you know I'm going to play the video of what you said out of your mouth, though, right? Yeah, the guns was on his seat, and I said, pick one. 
The gun. Okay, so I'm not arguing the fact that I'm not arguing the fact of who brought it there. I understand that that's your okay. hill that you want to die on. You okay. want to die on the hill that you didn't bring it there. But okay. my thing is, your leadership caused this. You're a grown man talking about you want to see if somebody would shoot you. Mm -hmm. That's immature shit. Okay. Luca, Luca runs Dallas. Okay. Luca is not going to bring guns to a locker room or have somebody bring it, or he's not going to even say pick one. He's going to okay. take that very serious because he's there to play basketball. I so get that. It, it, for, for these white organizations, they're going to stop wanting to spend big money on black guys because all you guys want to do is talk about shooting people and gangster shit as soon as you get upset. So, Don't so, you see that? No, I, I see that exactly. Someone said they were going to shoot me, and I said, okay, let me see it. So you're oh, an NBA player. But you, you made me the thug. Okay, but if you was you an NBA player, right? So if yeah. you was thinking like an NBA player, you would told team security, sir. You thinking like a gangster? You thinking like a thug? I'm that's thinking, that's the problem. Thinking, you're I'm proving thinking, my point. I'm thinking like a thug because yeah. I said, Do if it. that's what if that was JJ Reddy and somebody told JJ Reddy that they're gonna shoot him, he's gonna report that information to the team. What you did was act like a nigga from the streets. You went and got a gun, or you somebody brought a gun to a locker room. That's what street niggas do, bro. Oh, that's okay. not well, what that's not what NBA players do. So me saying, hold on. So me saying, Kwame Brown, I'm a whoop your ass when I see you, motherfucker. And then you said, I'll fly you out. Are you a street nigga when you said you'll fly me out? Come by yourself. What what type of nigga is that one? Who's that's taking a the challenge? That's a man. I'm I get to put, huh? Oh no! All I'm saying so is, you, there's no death. In, are you gonna beat me to death? There's no death I'm in saying, that, right? So you, so you a man for calling my bluff, but I'm a gangster for calling his. If somebody talk about shooting me, I'm not calling no bluff. I don't play with death, bro. A fight is just a fight. How can you, like, is your brain, like, I don't understand you at this point. You said you wanted to beat me up. That's what men do. We fight. But and guess what? After the fight, I get to go home and kiss my daughter. Swole lip or not, I get to live. So what, wait, you so talk about, what you niggas talk about is death. It's so final. Wait, you not get wait, that? Wait. wait, so if I'm calling his bluff knowing that he's not going to shoot me, I'm the gangster because I'm saying, prove it. I, I don't, yeah, I don't you get that. You can't, obviously you can't think for other people because you don't know what Javaris was capable of as we all can see now. So you could have put yourself in a situation where you could have got killed, sir. So there's no, there's no reason for you to play with somebody who's talking about death. I never one time in life, that you, you can't catch me in a scenario playing about death. When Jack told me he was, that's play. Jack using me. Stop Jack using them. Listen to me. When Jack said he wanted to play in the streets, my answer was no, nigga. My son be in my car. But when Jack got on Instagram Live and said, I want to look you in your eye, I want to look you in your face, I was like, oh shit, I'm looking for that. And that wrong man look me in my motherfucking eye, look me in my face. If he gonna come by himself, death. Y'all preach cowardism. I want black men to be men again. If you got a problem with me, for sure fly your ass out. And if you want to fight, I'll knock you the fuck out. But at the end of the day, so, you get to go back to your kids and you get to take them to school after your lip heal up. So so if you if you hit me and I bust my head and die, what's the difference, Carmen Brown? If you're calling my bluff, you're calling my bluff. You can't say you're a man for calling a bluff and then I'm a gangster for calling his. Like, see, no... The, you, I don't think you're bluffing. Those are words that you're using. I don't think you're bluffing, sir. You thought, see, the problem is your narrative, you thought I actually brung the gun in that. You thought I did that. That's why your narrative, your narrative towards me is gangster. But I did not bring no gun, sir. Did not touch no gun, sir. I took the blame for it. I ruined my name for it. No, I was I talking about him. your leadership. You told I me. Put, I don't put, talk about put him in the position. I put him in the position to react the way he did. The, to react the way he did, I felt morally bad that I probably ruined his career, and I said, fuck it, I'll take responsibility for this.
Well, you did ruin his career because as the leader, as the leader, you're like, if I would have told Kobe, I'm going to shoot you, Kobe. Kobe's not going to entertain me in a way where he's going to have a situation where guns are going to show up. The only guns that'll show up is his security guard. He's not okay, going to. Okay, uh, Kwame, I took responsibility for it. I know that already. I know I wasn't the leader that would that ignored him. I didn't ignore him. I said, bet, show me. What I'm saying is Kobe would have never said, bet, show me. Okay. He would have he told him, listen, uh, he would have okay, told him, right. he would have acted like an NBA player, brother. He would have showed his security the threat. That's a threat. What you're saying is you got threatened, and instead of you taking the threat serious, you played with it, you joked with it, and you perpetuated that threat, and you could have got yourself killed. And, and that's all and, I'm saying. It's that juvenile, it's that juvenile I, jovial behavior you have, brother. You're I wrong said, for that. I took responsibility. Duh, nigga. Why why you keep saying the same thing I'm saying? I took responsibility by saying, fuck, I fucked up, yo. This is the new story. I'll take responsibility for it. That's the story that you want to get out. You were the leader of the team. This happened under your leadership. You want people to believe that you're this nice guy. You are everyday jackass. You rubbed your balls on a man's sunglasses. That's not Cap. Ricky Hazen. That's Cap. you being a little dick. That's and, Cap. and you knew if, if, if okay, Cap. well, that's what this man said you did. So you saying that uh, Swaggy P is lying on you? Yes, it was Deshaun Stevenson who did that, not me. So, so you are leader of the team, and you got men in the locker room rubbing balls on people's glass, and you allowing this to happen in your locker room as the leader of the team. And you talking about my leadership? You talking about what I wasn't as a man? And you allowing these kids? How can y'all have a championship run if grown men are rubbing balls on other men's uh, belongings? If that's what that nigga wanted to do, like. Like, why do you care? <laughs> like, shit, that's between no, the two. You. Because if I'm the leader of the team, I, I'm saying that this don't that this don't need to go on. We don't, know what, we don't know what you would do if you were leader on a team. No one knows what they would do. It's easy oh, okay. to sit back and judge what niggas did 20 fucking years ago. So you want to tell the truth about this story with Ernie Grunfeld? Not Ernie Grunfeld, with um, uh, your, your coach, uh, Eddie Jordan, where he changed the rules for you on the chalkboard? Well, he said you need a little more work, rope than everybody else. That's true. So that's why nobody wanted to play with you, Gil, because you get coaches. Well, you didn't want to play with me. Okay, I thought we were going to go back and forth. I see I'm triggering you a little bit. No, I'm just saying you out. didn't want to play. You, you're trying to speak for everybody else. Everybody yeah, else. Everybody didn't want to play with you either. Cap, stop using carcinos. You know what? Well, I, I, I got Jared Jeffries right here, sir. Jared Jeffries is going to say whatever because he knows you. He knows how crazy you are in real life. So he when did don't wanna, he when don't want to deal with your dumb shit? When did but Jerry guess what? The trade went on for real. They could have signed Jerry Jeffries. See, that's the problem. Stop listening to everybody else who wasn't there. That is a cap. That is a false narrative. I left because I ain't like you. Because I I seen the behavior of you. Jared, everybody left because your behavior, bro. Jared was a free agent. Had an offer. They front loaded the contract. You know what front load means. Mm -hmm. They put more money in the front so the other team can't. The team can always match the offer, brother. You they tell these stories. They you tell these stories. It don't matter if they front load or back load. When you let a player hit the open market, then teams are supposed to do whatever they can do to be competitive. And Stop. the Washington Wizards, if Gilbert Arenas would have told them, sign Jared Jeffries, I need him. I got to have this player. They do everything you say, sir. How in the hell did you go to jail every other weekend and nobody knew about it? You, you said know that. you ran that team and you, you ran that team into the on, ground. Hold on, Kwame. You, you ran the Wizards into the ground, bro. This is this is, this is is dumb. You said I went to jail every other weekend. I just agreed with you. No, I, no, sir. I can play the video where I was saying that you ain't no street nigga and you ain't real. And no. you said, I'm the only one up here that'll go crazy. I'm the only motherfucker up here that got it. I went to jail every weekend. Yeah, I, I went to jail. That what you said. I'm, yeah, I'm using what you said all last year. No, oh, now you're using what I was saying. Yes. Because all I said was what 
you you said everything you say i use you say i'm i treat myself like a king i put on a king fucking hat you say i got emperor jewelry i put on fucking emperor jewelry have you not noticed that yet so you do everything i say okay well stop so stop being a bitch can you do that stop lying on fucking people i'll tell I'm, you what can you start helping black men and black people without hurting them can who you do I hurt? Can Ooh. you do the box? Can you do the boxing match with Carcino and donate to Angela Stanton? Can you start helping your people without harming them? Don't without threatening don't people. Like Angela Stanton? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm boxing. I'm saying, no, I'm going off what you said. You said you do everything I say. No, I said I'm not doing nothing. You just no. admitted to that. You said I'm, I'm, I do everything you say. That's that's cute. That's cute. No, I'm gonna clip that up. <laughs> that was that. That was nice. So, so about I mean, about I do everything you say, dude. Haven't you noticed that by now? So about I try to about, tell these people that. So Jared Jeffries signed a deal and we couldn't match it because they front loaded that first year. Just like Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin got a deal from Houston and they front loaded, put $14 million on the first year, which means New York could not offer or match it because- You know my cousin right here saw you with that crown, not to cut you off. You know my cousin right here, this is my real cousin in real life. He was in DC, he had dreads at the time. You know he saw you with that jewelry on, right? So I had a crown. I had a crown on my head in in DC. So you're trying to say you didn't buy that big? Ass, I'm making up that you had a bracelet that looked like a big ass fucking ruby, and I'm okay. making up that you had a fucking a crown and a chain. I'm making up all this shit. Yeah, I had a crown. I had a fucking crown on Kwame Brown. <laughs> I'm asking. So you didn't have this big bracelet that looked like King of Samuda. You yes. looking like Eddie Murphy in that movie Coming to America. Yes. That's what you look like on Instagram, on, on YouTube. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Bracelet, now I have a chain on, now I have a fucking crown. I'm saying everything that you had on, brother, everything that you had on just is bro, what you're, listen, everything you had on looks like this right here. No. This is exactly what you look like in DC. You, you're being the same person I said you was, bro. This is who you think you are. You're, Kwame Brown, you're saying I'm this person, so I'm cre creating the person. I'm creating exactly who you're no, saying after, I am. That's what you want to throw people off with. You are that person. There's no way that is going to make up story about you. Kwame Brown's story, I don't make up stories about nobody. Where, where's nobody my crown? me for making up shit. Why don't you anybody, go check? Any, anybody Why don't got you a go check to see if Kobe Bryant tried to fight me in the locker room? I did. I did, sir. Why don't you go check and see? I did. And what happened? What happened? Uh, what happened? Which which part? Yeah. Oh, UD or or Udonis, you already admitted that you knew from mm -hmm. April that I broke my hand mm -hmm. and Udonis confirmed it, but you were still on the internet capping and lying and saying, oh, I don't know. If you've been in the fight, tell me the date. You, you do all this lying, so even when you find out the lying. truth, you won't say it. Okay, so, so yeah. what did you find out, what did you find out truthfully about the Kobe situation? The, the problem, the problem we we're having is this. If the narrative is here, you take it here and go this way. Then you want me to get answers on this, which has nothing to do with this, right? It has nothing to do with this, but you change the narrative and then run this way with it. And then you want me to get answers. So you saying UD was there. I asked, he said, yes, he broke his hand. Cool. So I don't have to, I don't have to come out and say, oh, you broke his hands. It means nothing. It has nothing with what the re regular narrative is. So saying, I'm a seven foot. Hold on, but it does. Can I give a little pushback? I'm not trying to cut you. I just want to give a little pushback on my show. You've been calling me a seven foot pussy. You've been saying I ain't gonna do nothing. You've been saying all I do is lie, and you got a confirmed story from Udonis Hasm, another NBA player, and you mm -hmm. didn't think the internet needed to know that. You didn't that think you, the internet needed to know that. That you broke your hand. Yes, you didn't think that because you was up here. I could show the video of you giving me pushback as if you didn't know nothing about it, bro. And you knew since April. Mm -hmm. This May, you knew since April 15th all the details, but you asking me questions as if it never happened. I'm asking you questions, give me give me your story. Because if I get the answers and you don't like it, you say, Was you there? Why are you talking to other niggas? So I wanted to hear it out of your mouth. No, what I'm saying is. If Udonis already told you on mm -hmm. April the 15th that I mm -hmm. broke my hand, mm -hmm. why was you arguing with me in May 
if you already had the answer to that question. What was I, what was I arguing in May about? You want me to play the video of you just saying, you were just May? questioning me about I wasn't arguing with you in May. When you say stuff, I call. Like, you did a video in the bushes or whatever the fuck you were, and you said, hey, uh, I did this video, Kobe Bryant and uh, whatever happened in the locker room. Mm -hmm. I sent it to two Laker players, or one Laker player sent both and said, is this true or not? He said, yes, it's true. Okay, cool. I don't so the story I told, so <laughs> what you're saying is, hold on, so what you're saying is, you just confirmed the story that I said about Kobe Bryant about to fight me or wanted to fight me in the locker room. You just confirmed with a Laker player that what I said was true. Hold on, I read exactly what, here, let me see. When I text Luke, I said, I said, yo, yo, when Kwame was with you guys, did he stand up to Kobe? He's saying Kobe, he's saying Kobe said something about AIDS and Kwame said he was about to whoop his ass. Is this true? He said, yeah, it set him off for some reason. I said, I figured he was lying about everything. He said, nah, that, that one is true. He said, did he tell you the story? So I sent him the clips and he wrote, the top one, yeah, I, d I didn't know about the second one. So he remembers the first one, I guess, whatever that was. But the second one about uh, uh, the ice tub, he said he didn't hear about that one. Yeah, because Luke Walton wasn't injured, brother. I was injured okay, after his saying. ankle okay. and uh, shoulder yeah. surgery. Okay, but again, I have that information. That is not part of anything I have to talk about. It, it, it was false. Okay, well, what I'm... What I'm, what I'm Hold on, what, hold on, brother. What I'm saying is, all you had to do is tell him he has a great relationship with Gary Beatty. Uh, Gary Beatty is a great trainer, uh, was a great trainer. Uh, he took me to a great spot called Petro's in Redondo Beach. If anybody in California go to Petro's in Redondo Beach, the best chicken you ever want to taste is a Greek spot. Go to Petro's. That's my guy, Gary Beatty. So, okay, okay but all, Luke Walton, all Luke Walton had to do, all you had to do was ask Luke Walton, hey, ask Gary Beatty real quick about the morning part of the story and Gary okay, could have confirmed it so I say all that to say I don't have to... talking about nothing what I'm saying is this is not my story why didn't you, ask, story. Why didn't you ask why didn't you ask Steven Jackson about Oak about to throw the ball in my face because I it has nothing to do with my story okay you Jack said probably it. beat your ass yeah Jack don't fuck what? with you no more and That's you gonna God. keep talking about it you're going to keep talking about Jack, and Jack going to beat your ass. That was going to happen. That's, that's another cap. Stop listening to Carcino, brother. I'm not listening to Carcino. You know you can't fuck with Jack. Steven Jackson? Steven Jackson. Stack five. I don't know why you're looking so funny. In real life, Steven Jackson will beat your ass. That's why you just on the internet. You know damn well. He don't fuck with you no more. Why he don't fuck with me? Because y'all were supposed to be in some little bad boys club, and you were bad supposed to have his back, and you didn't. Uh, this 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 Steven so, you, so, so you're this, trying to say you're trying to say what is that show it huh? to him. this is me when i go on the internet and i be putting shit your shit in the story and then this is him laughing and shit giggling show, show us the date on that blow it up today this says april 24th april 24th what year uh right now what do you mean april 24th what are you talking you about? can't see it, brother. Can you can you screenshot it? Screenshot it and put it up on the put it in the back chat. Gil just <laughs> using Kwame to go viral, and I'm using him to show that he. What, what did what did I say? What if y'all put on my page? I put everything on private and everything that has to do with Kwame Brown off my page. Because what did I say earlier, Kwame? Oh, I don't want to come viral. Did I not say that, Kwame? No, but listen, I'm glad you just, yeah, 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 you did. I'm glad, I'm glad you just uh, want to have a conversation with me now instead of putting to have this a conversation. in my throat. Because now, I'm saying, now you respected me like you respect them white boys. I like that. You had a disagreement, you came and talked. Same shit you do to JJ Reddy. So as long as you keep that up, we'd be okay. But the moment you start talking about pistol to my throat and all that other weirdo shit, I'm going to lose respect for you because I don't like niggas that talk like that to other niggas. I think you niggas are cowards. I think I have never seen you on.
to a white man. I called your boss a bitch. I said, whoever your boss is for FUBU Sports is a bitch. I talked about Dana White. I talked about plenty of white men. You have never opened your mouth and say one. All white men see with you is teeth and ass. Because all you show them is your teeth and your ass. That's it. I, well, I don't. So I can't see this shit. What does this shit say? April 24th, 10 a.m. What's the date? Motherfucker, a few, a few weeks ago. <laughs> shit. It was most likely uh -huh. that white man. It, it was probably that white man. It was probably that white man meme I had put up, made of you and, and posted it on my story. And he, he laughed. It would be a high, stupid son bitch like him and your dumb ass to think making somebody a white man is funny. I'm not a white. Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm missing kick this nigga off. Gil hit the link. I, miss, I was trying to drop that other one. But. How in the hell this dumb motherfucker think making me a white man is funny? That's the dumbest shit in the goddamn world. Hit the link again so I can ask you, why do you think corny ass jokes is funny? This motherfucker talk about October and April when Jack was laughing because he so-called made me a white girl. You ain't a white dude. You ain't make me no white dude in April. I mean, in October. Like, boy, you crazy for real, man. This nigga, this nigga really think he a real So, you put key on Your internet. If you can hear me. Oh, nigga. I can hear you, but do I put both of them up or one of them? No, no, I said your ear, your, uh, what happened? The, the one that's up is fine. Your, 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 your internet. All right, hold on. I'm going to kick one black hole off. All right, can I hear you? Can you hear me now? Yeah. All right, go ahead. I, I didn't, nigga, I, 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 that, that, that's all I heard. I didn't really, so I don't. Okay, well, can I say to you? I don't know where the hell T going. Hey, I ain't got me lost in up. I ain't never take so many back roads to get to it, but you done got lost eight motherfucking times. On the, on the positive note, man, um, you need to start paying attention to this motherfucking shit. You got you laughing at this dumb ass nigga too much, man. You, you know, miss every goddamn time. <laughs> Are you you going fi you going fishing or just chilling? Uh, shit, I don't know. Goddamn, why you worry about what I'm doing though? I'm just trying to figure out. Positive note. <laughs> I'm just saying. You, hey, look, you about to get off here and go to work. <laughs> I'm about to get off here and go fishing. <laughs> Y'all see this shit? I just try to say on a positive note. Whether you about to go fishing or you just going to chill. <laughs> hey, hey, look, I'm, I'm scared that if I say I'm going fishing, you, uh, uh, going to chill, you gonna have some niggas fly a drone over the boat yeah. and drop acid on the motherfucker. I'm scared. Yeah, no goddamn drone over that. You shit. know, one minute you turn into OG Bobby John. I told you, you split. Like, 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 yeah, you gotta be honest, though. Like, like, when we describe you as this, you gotta be honest. This shit was funny as hell, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> See, this the kind of goddamn drone. Hey, the, the young lady who sent me this shit, I cried laughing. Like, that's you to the T. One minute you be talking cool, next minute you just lose your motherfucking mind. Okay, you look. You a little bit bipolar, though? Be honest. Probably. But look, look, I do got I do got a confession. Let right? me ask you this. Let nope. me ask you this one question. Nope. Have nope. you ever taken any, have you ever thought about getting any medicine for bipolar disorder? Nah, I've been trying. They won't give it to me. They won't yeah. give it to you? Nah, they think I'm faking. But look, no, listen. This is some, this is some, this is why I haven't been posting um the last two days because i'm conflicted right so you know i talked to drew right and um he made me see it another way he made me see it another way like things i didn't really like factor in and um so so you're correct. You're correct. 100% correct that Michael Jordan did not want you. 100%. Um, he said Michael Jordan didn't, didn't want Kwame Brown. Like, he really didn't want him. He wanted to trade him. And A. Poland wanted you. 
And because Michael Jordan didn't get to trade you, he started purposely fucking with you. Purposely, like, purposely um, handicapping who you were and your growth. And the second year he had, he brung in Oak to purposely fuck with you. And um, so me coming there and watching and and me saying, hey man, I didn't see him work. It, it, would, it would really make sense that, you know, if you're being purposely picked on by someone that you can't go back and forth with because of the position he was in, I wouldn't want to be in that fucking gym either. It, 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 that'd be the last fucking place that I would want to be uh, a, a man who, who has his power, a man who has his power um, berating me every day and I can't fuck him up. I can't say nothing back. Um, so that's and, what and I had that other strike against me. I broke my hand coming in the door. Shut up! So I, shut I up! Shut I up! Shut up. Shut up. You. Stop! You know what I'm saying? I really do appreciate you. For stop. All this stop. You see how he just fucks the shit no, up? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying the other strike that MJ knew is that I had to go to a meeting with David Stern. So he knew. It, just imagine the owner of the team. I'm damaged goods. I broke my hand. At, at a fight in Florida that you confirmed with you, Donna. <laughs> so now I come in. He already didn't want me. Now I broke my hand in the fight. They tried to cover it up. You asked me, how did it get covered up? It's because they were trying to get the trade to go through, dumbass. No, I, <laughs> listen. I that's get how they listen. covered it up. That's the only story about Kwame Brown that's been ever covered up. Any other thing I ever did, go out in the media. I can't speed. I can't jaywalk. I can't piss on the ground without somebody writing it in the newspaper. No, I no, no. Like, he, like, nah, he really, like, he really, like, broke it down to me to the point where I was like, damn, man. <laughs> damn, I don't want to fuck with him no more because, like, I, I told him, he, I said, damn, if I'm in that situation and Jordan's telling you, I'll get your ass fired, I'll trade you. I, I don't know if I can, I don't, I don't know what I'll do. I know I wouldn't want to be around him. You would do what I did. Just stay yep. quiet and get your money, bro. Not even going to lie. I, I agree. That's, that's why I stayed quiet. I agree. So, I, I, when everybody I like, so when everybody like, oh, man, Kwame this, Kwame that, I'm like, boy, y'all just don't know. You nigga would have died in my situation. Like, me, I'm from the hood. Y'all come from a family that we ain't have much. My whole, all my brothers was drug dealers and doing, all, not all of them, but a lot of my brothers was drug dealers. So, I grew up in the trap house. You think I'm finna get that up because a motherfucking bitch ass nigga that didn't get his way? And I'm calling him a bitch ass nigga now because you told the story. You told you told this truth, not me. But mm -hmm. people like Michael Jordan and people that got an axe to grind with other people because they don't get their way, I never understood people like that. Never. Like me, even with you acting the way you act, I still see that you're a father and you with your kids. I don't want to see nothing happen to you. I can still see you, even though you late to go pick up your daughter, you still go pick up your daughter. That's what men need to be doing. I don't have no problem with you in that way. When you get tough and brolic, I be laughing because I know that ain't really you. I know you capable of hiring dumbass street niggas to do it. You can, Everybody capable of doing that. Hey, Kwame's a teddy bear, y'all. <laughs> He's a teddy bear. He said, yeah, I'm, a te I'm, a, I'm a teddy bear. I'm a teddy bear that got them got a Ginsu knife, though. He's a, teddy, he's a teddy bear. The reason why, see, that's the thing. A lot of people like <laughs> a lot of people like you misconstrue things now. He's a teddy I, bear, Kwame Brown. Stop. I've seen but, so no, much. But now, but now I, I but really Gilbert, I, but Gilbert, this is the thing. I've seen so much violence, bro. I know that nobody win at the end of that shit. You might you might call it a teddy bear. I know you joke for the internet, but if you've seen the amount of violence I seen, bro, you wouldn't you wouldn't think joking about violence is a good thing. I've seen violence on another level. It ain't no funny thing. It ain't nothing. To, it ain't no game, man. Yeah, yeah. I get more like, I, I got, my black ass got to go to work now for the white man. Well, he's he's light skinned, but you know. The same well, thing. well, thank you for telling that story, man. Because now people will be able to chop it up that you confirmed that Michael Jordan didn't want the number one draft pick, that I was supposed to be traded, mm -hmm. and that I went through a damn near humiliation ritual just because somebody didn't get their way so you know right. and i handled it like a man so 
I appreciate you giving better me. Than, no, I, listen. That, why do you think I've been sitting here for two days like, man, God damn. I can't fuck with him. What, no what would you have done in that situation with MJ? Was the guy that was because you can't keep coming back and being ignorant. He was not. Nah, you're right. He has the power to find you, take your money, everything. Like, what would you have done? Same shit you was doing. And then he has the power over the media. So anything that you say, who the fuck want to hear a 19 year old motherfucker that ain't done shit on the court yet talk about they motherfucking hero that's been flying through the goddamn air, making them goddamn cry with all the great shit he done done. Who want to hear one negative thing about MJ from a nigga that ain't proved nothing yet? Nah, listen, not when he was, let's just say we talked, we talked for twenty five, we talked for twenty five minutes about it, and he was Look, just. You like, got people saluting you for being honest. Oh, I mean, like, listen, that, but that's what I said. That's why I had a live yesterday, and I was gonna pose, and I was like, Nah, man, I, this is. Hold on, Gil. Do you want to talk to Moonlight? I think she wanted to talk. I don't know. Did you ask her to come up here or she want to talk? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want to just bring her up. Uh, what I'm saying is I got to go to I got to go to work right now. We start, we supposed to start at 7, 11, 30. All so right. You enjoy, been your enjoy your trip. But um, all right. I figured out another way to fuck with you. Right. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't use the locker room shit no more because it all makes sense now. Hey, my homeboy said he's still lame, though. But hit me later. Is that Tiki? Huh? Tiki? Yeah, Tiki said you still lame because he like all the shit you said about. It. Yeah. I, I, I get it. Oh, moonlight, moonlight. Hey. Moonlight. Put hey, Kwame. Moonlight. Oh, shit. How you doing? Meat on a pipe. Hey, Kwame, how you doing? No, I said put down that pipe, that weed pipe you got. Oh, the weed pipe? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm on a quick break, but I wanted to highlight you real quick. Well, what's up to the chat and all my friends? Oh, let me say this Kwame. to you first, Moonlight. You, hold on, Moonlight. Let me say this to you first before you get crazy. Happy Mother's Day to you, Moonlight. Thank you so much, because I was getting ready to say. I was getting ready to say, you know. What's going on? And for those of you who kept asking me, why do you keep doing this? Well, you and Gilbert got beef. This isn't that. I kept saying, I don't have no beef with Gilbert. Gilbert just don't know what the fuck he's talking about. So this is a prime example that it's not real for a man to tell another man, you just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was there. So I appreciate Gilbert Arenas telling the truth. But ears to the streets and all you little dummies, that just repeat shit that you hear from somebody else that wasn't there for certain things. Now you got egg on your face. Oh, you are getting bullied in the locker room. Like get what Arena said. Uh, you are getting bullied. Yeah, get what Arena said. You got bullied. You man, this shit crazy. This bitch ass nigga. And guess what? I got a secret for y'all. I'm gonna end this live and I'm gonna start a new live because I'm pulling up on my cousin right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end this live. And start a new live, cause I just pulled up on my cousin right now. So yeah, y'all brought family. Y'all just bringing family all together and closer and shit with all this fat mouth and talking. Y'all doing oh, Tiki got us lost a hundred times, but we here now. Oh, <laughs> this nigga Tiki got us lost, but we here now. Oh, so let me see what my cousin that we just pulled up to the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just pulled up to the lake. Trying to put some jet skis on the lake. Yeah. I don't even need an eye. Yeah, I'm getting on this YouTube shit, though, y'all. I'm not going to I'm getting on this YouTube shit. I'm getting on this YouTube shit because I like this YouTube shit, okay? I like this motherfucker YouTube shit.